All right, so it's time for some more mod audio, mod dwarf, mod duo, whichever one it is, ecosystem stuff. Today I'm looking at this. Now this is the OverJ by, and I'm gonna pronounce it wrong, I'm sure, but Torquato Mariano, uh, who developed this particular thing. I did a video, you can watch up here uh, on The Rude a little while ago, which is by the same developers. Uh, and if you wanna find out more about the whole mod ecosystem, uh, I'll put links in the description below and I'll put a playlist um, up at the end as well. Um, I'm not going to go through how it all works. So basically you've got this thing, but it's uh, you control it via the software, but then you, or not software, you control it via uh, your browser really connected via USB, controlled via the browser, but then you don't need it connected. Uh, this is sort of a standalone unit. So for today's video, I thought um, I'm going to use this, which is my Cy Larry Carlton H7. Uh, lovely 335 style guitar. You can watch a full video on that guitar up here as well. That goes via my Peterson Strober Stomp HD tuner, which is also my desk, straight into here, and then mono out from there into the Rev D20, uh, which is behind me. And from there, it goes uh, via the direct output. There's no speaker attached. It has the direct output, uh, two notes output, and it goes into my Audio ID44 interface. Now I'm using these IRs. Uh, these are Celestian IRs. If you want to purchase Celestian IRs, there's an affiliate link in the description below, which uh, you don't have to buy the IRs I use. You can buy any Celestian IRs, but if you buy them via that link, we get a kickback. You're not paying any more. You just, we're just getting a kickback out of it. Okay. So, um, oh, and then on here, I also have, I have a module and a gain thing. That's sort of the, the, um, signal chain on here. And I can turn a module on and off via the switch here if I want to. Uh, okay, so the OverJ, uh, you can probably kind of tell by looking at it what it is. You click the little uh, eye thing and it tells you it's based on the Janray, uh, which again is based on a, a Timmy. So it's sort of a copy of a copy of a copy. Um, and this is sort of a, a digital version of it, which you've got here with level, drive, treble, and bass. Now, if you click on a little that little thing here, you can save your own presets in here. Uh, you also have two different model sizes. So for example, if I turn it on, uh, it's on light, lightest right now. And we're using, if you look down here, we're using 24, 23, 24% uh, CPU power. If I go to light, it's a higher sampling rate. And now we're up to about 30%. So if you have big elaborate uh, pedal boards, this is a way to save on, on um, uh, CPU intensity. Now with this turned off, this is the bypass signal, uh, just that Rev D20 there, and it sounds like this. It's clean, sort of pushing the tubes a bit, but relatively clean. So just go everything at 12 o'clock, turn it on, this is what it sounds like. I think, I mean, originally Timmy, as far as I know, is sort of somewhat based on the cranked Fender style amp. So this is sort of that kind of thing as well. So we can turn it drive down a little bit. Maybe on a little bit more treble in your life. I think that sounds really quite good. Uh, let's get some more drive in our life. bit of delay why not maybe let's some bass and treble up a bit and level up a bit. neck pick up maybe go middle position Thank you. 
think it's a great sounding um, drive. Now let's let's crank the treble and bass. <laughs> Treble and bass uh, sit in a great spot, actually. Um, you can watch a video, <laughs> actually, if you want to see the January, you can watch a video we did up here with a bunch of different pedals that we compared, so you can sort of um, see what the actual pedals sound like. But it's the EQ is great. It sort of, it, it doesn't get too trebly. If you have really bright pickups, it works quite well if you turn the treble down. And same with the bass, it doesn't get too bassy. I mean, it gets some. See, that's, to me, that sounds great. So what I can, for example, do now is I can click, go here, click save as. Uh, Gabor's, I call everything Gabor's, don't I? Gabor's, uh, I don't know, Ray, I don't know. <laughs> now that's a preset I've got here. Uh, I can recall it any time, um, you know, just because I like that sound. <laughs> There's a lot of good sounds on this. So it's very bassy, isn't it? On a it's a very bassy neck pickup. Does the uh, um, the edge of breakup stuff quite well? With delay. I think it's quite a good sounding um, overdrive. Uh, I think it's definitely one of the sort of better sounding ones. I think in a there's tons of great ones, but I, I would rate it as one of the better sounding ones in a whole mod ecosystem. So that's the Over Ray by Torquato Mariano. Sorry if I pronounce it wrong. Um, let me know if there's anything else in particular you want me to do with this or compare it to anything else uh, or any other mod plugins you want to see more of uh, in the comments below. Big thank you to Mod Audio for supplying all this stuff to me. Uh, yeah, check out the playlist. I'll stick it here with all the mod stuff and see you in the next one. Bye.